this is a video game stream and this is a game called Outer Wilds. It's a game that people have requested for a very long time and I'm finally gonna see it and check it out. All right. So let's see what all the fuss is about. Hmm. Is this right? This was the game of the year? Looks cool so far. This is- wait a minute, this is the wrong version. Wait a minute, you mean to tell me the version I've had in a folder since 2013 was incorrect? It's true. I had an old version of Outer Wilds since 2013 that was in one of my folders. I was gonna do a stream of it, I guess, seven years ago? For like a Sunday stream segment? However, you, you, you know, actually will see Outer Wilds today. Wake up! Wait, am I an alien? Alright, cool. Windows G enable. Oh, the moon. This is carved by the Nomayan ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to be covered, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found in almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Um, chat, yeah, you don't have to ruin the game. I know about the loop. I do know that, because there's no way this game could have been out for like a year, and me not hearing about the loop. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the Dark Bramble. <laughs> it appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Watch closely, these balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think is causing the spooky motion? The answer is the moon, as it orbits our planet. The Adel Rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Don't... What? It's pull... No, don't do that. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I am ready to die in space. I mean, get off this rock. Alex. Oh, wow. Cool. Huh? Damn. What the fuck? No me not to solo. All right. We're probably going to go to the Adel Rock. What's the brittle hollow? Oh shit. Oh god, wow. Well, there's the Adel Rock, okay. Ooh. 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 Wow, okay. Alright, good. We're good. Ship is good. Ship is sturdy, right? Welcome to... the moon, I guess. Wait, is someone living on this? Cause, like... I don't know if wood is gonna be good enough. Oh, hey, it's you! I guess they don't need oxygen up here, huh? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control. Hornsfeld and Ghosts on mostly, and they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. You spy on us? What? No, it's not spying. It's a one-way communication. Not that none of the other villagers know about, because I've never told them. I don't... That sentence did not, like, compute. Whoa. Holy fuck. God, these planets are all real close. 
Um, chat, I don't like that thing in the distance there. Can't tell if that's crashing into the sun or just rotating around it. Yo, what the fuck? Just trying to find them, them things. There we go. Some ruins. Am I dead? Something tells me there is a much cooler way to, uh, go back. But yeah, it looks like the, um... The ancient Marzipan statue, that's what they're called, right? Marzipans? I, it looks like they, um... They brought me back for some reason. They don't want me to die. So I don't know what the hell that's about. So I'm starting to understand, I think, a little bit more of what's happening here, but I, I don't really fucking know. Even with any of the spoils, which were very minor. There's- there's music lining up from two places. The astronauts on each planet that they're on are playing the same song. And they need to be lined up. I wonder if they're stranded. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, Giants Deep, and Brittle Hollow. However, something strange is happening. When I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal, the device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe we need to build more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the eye of the universe. Then we will build it. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Konoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always had a, uh, held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. Brittle Hollow, South Pole. Let's go over there. So I need to find Brittle Hollow. Got it. Here we go. There's a weird... What the fuck is this thing? That's the Hollow's lantern. That's, that's its weird moon. Well, it's hollow. Success. I believe this is... This might be the North Pole. Yeah, I landed on the North Pole. Huh. Is this planet, like, falling apart? Because I'm- I'm hearing, like, weird... I think Hollow's Lantern is just beating the shit out of it. No wonder it's so brittle. Very far from my shit. wow. There is a black hole in the middle of this planet. Ship over here of some kind. Ooh, and an entrance. That's the good news. The bad news is, uh, I haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door's broken. I know I'm not great at exploring. I think I would have found a different entrance by now. If there were one. Probably. Can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins. Try to find a way down. Oh. I think it might be a good idea for me to get back to my ship anyway. Because I'm running out of oxygen. Oh god, I can't go this way. It's now or never.
<laughs> Holy shit. I saw some stuff. Well, here's this stuff. It's a very strange noise. Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or 3? No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals. However, if there's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude if we can. Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourself swiftly, the volcanic moon has returned. We need to find shelter and quickly, the volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I've observed, uh, I've observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for anyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms? That was not my intent. Uh-oh. Oh. It's nice shitty platforms you got there. I don't really like that album, but they made it sound way less 80s. And uh, that song benefits from it greatly. Sorry, that was just a random tangent. I don't know if I... I don't know how I feel about this... This music. Uh, is the sun going supernova? We'll be safe here, right? That sun looks very red. No one of my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Shit. Yeah, I think, um, I think the sun may have gone supernova. What's that, chat? What the fuck is that? I want to find out what that is. Well, I mean, don't spoil it. Never mind. These poor bastards died. Very Majora's Mask. That music even kind of reminded me of Dawn of the Third Day, so when I heard that music, I was like, well, wait a second. Vinny, new dialogue? You're lucky I'm in a time loop, because otherwise I'd be super dead. And you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons. Because I have no idea what you're talking about. The sun is going to go supernova, by the way. Oh yeah, the observatory has an exhibit about that. That thing from that planet crashed around here somewhere. Maybe it didn't crash on here, but there's something very interesting going on here. Hey yo, hatchling. Thought you were taking a tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me, I saw something crash over the horizon, didn't like what I was seeing, and the pictures my little scout was sending back, so I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. So, what crashed? I don't know what it is exactly, it looked like some kind of plant seed, but it's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before. Hearth? Hearth? You think it's extraterrestrial? Kinda looks like something that might have come off the dark bramble. Whatever it is, it's put down roots in a hurry. I have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Huh. Well, that goes down pretty far. Can't tell if that's a person or... Mm, I can't- I don't think it is. It, there's something- Something's weird. It's like the other side of the planet? What? Alright, well this loop already has wasted- we've r wasted a lot of time. It's good. Good landing. I will be the master of landings by the end of this stream. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's black hole. Oh. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. Hmm. 
Has anyone one observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? The moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it just leaves its friend, Hollow Lantern, for nights at a time. The nights, the moon circles, this planet appear random, and it seems to travel as it likes. Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Then I'd imagine there'd be none of us left. Hypothesis. There can exist too much lava. I strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. I'm sure, uh, chat is like loving that joke. I don't really get it, but I'm also very stupid. So. Moon faces, uh, like the face of the moon. I see. Maybe I've seen the moon. I'm not sure. I don't, that sentence did not, like, compute. Whoa, holy fuck. Vinny, jump into the black hole. Please stop, chat, please. Because I will. I am dumb enough that I will jump into the black hole. Here, we'll- we'll compromise. Oh shit, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh fuck, it looks like we're going in the black hole, everybody. Buckle up. No, we're not. <sighs> I have no idea what happened to the scout. That's Rybeck. Well, I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been a dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. Alien race lived in the solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. Dumb luck that I landed somewhere and my little scout says it's halfway stable, instead of being sucked into what's below. Where shouldn't you explore here? Um... Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. There's also a big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can get inside... You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I've tried, but... It's like the rest of the Nomai structures here. There's probably a path beneath the crust somewhere. We may not have a lot of time left to explore. Be welcome to this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs, Quantum Moon, and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Oh fuck, gravity. Gravity's weird, it's awesome. Well, I, I knew it was something quantum related. Oh, this has been... Hmm. Chat, what the fuck happened here? You fell into the black hole? Or rather, the tower fell through it. Oh. <sighs> Please stop. Please stop. Okay, good, good, good. Yep. Big splosion. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means that you've completed your preparations on Giants Deep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it's carried me and many in our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine on our clan built on the Quantum Moon. But remember this final rule to explore the sixth location. The shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Using oxygen as propellant. Uh-oh. This game is kind of cool.
Well, my ship is over there. Let me just get to my ship real quick. Let's see how I die first. Lack of oxygen. That looks like it's going to a different location this time. I don't know if the black hole took me to the quantum moon or if that was something completely different, but we'll go to the twins. Well, we'll check out one more planet and then... You know what? I'll just let the autopilot kill me. What can I say? I like fire. We'll just take it manually from here. It's, it's too fast. Oh! The autopilot flew my ship directly into the sun. Had an exciting dream, did you? Not exactly impossible for the autopilot to get you too close to the sun. It's not like it had tried to take you there on purpose. Make sure the sun is in between you and your destination when you engage autopilot. And you'll be fine. Bond with me, Jimmy. Bur burn with me, Vinny. We'll try this again. Okay. God damn, this game is cool. Clearly the Nomai were making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What is this big rotating device for? What was it the Nomai were observing? I'd posit there's something special about that orange symbol on that device. Hmm. This, this also seems important. This is my first time encountering a natural satellite with an ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it, or better, we should travel there. Well, this seems like... as good as any method to track a quantum moon. What the fuck is that? Hmm. Some weird airship. I thought the locator now accounted for all of the Phantom Moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device? It's also possible there exists a sixth place in the star system to which the Phantom Moon travels. Fascinating, as Spock would say. Escape Pod 2 vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Launching Escape Pod 3, now launching Escape Pod 2. Collision imminent. Inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on planet surface. The heat from this star system's sun is more bearable below the surface. Our escape pod punctured this planet's surface. It broke into what scans show is a cave system with much cooler air. I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Coleus and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, provided we live this- we live through this. Huh. It's one of them ancient, big-ass anglerfish. We have found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we can construct long-term shelter. This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. Of note, we must hurry, as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand and make sure no one is lost. Sand's rising. The path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions closely. Whoa. There we go. No, just go through the sand. Just eat some of it, okay? Fascinating. Did 
they built like districts. Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? I almost can't comprehend this is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetime. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. If we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves. And all life here. And the rest of the star system. I wish to protect these species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Let me guess, they fucking built it. <laughs> it's that thing orbiting the sun right now. That's just my guess. I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to the solar system, but is it that good? Dad told me lots of Nomai died when our clan came here. What if the eye isn't something good? What if the eye wanted that to happen? Yeah, why was that writing so, like, squiggly? Ghost matter detected nearby. Welcome to the death chamber. Fuck you. Your probe will help you navigate? Uh, sand. Sand Undertale is here. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find the source. What we know is this, the source of the signal, which we have call, chosen to call the Eye of the Universe, is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. The Eye called to us. Why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did something happen to it? Did the signal stop? Does the Eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the Eye's choice. The Eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. Saved, but for how long? No few- oh, oh, okay. This thing's about to go supernova. Cool, uh... Cool sun station that you guys weren't sure would be a good idea. Go fight the sun while it's weak. Is that how that works? Yep. Um, oh. Oh, that is the ash thing. Oh my god, oh my god. That is so cool. I thought that was the fucking station. That was the planet. At some point that was full of, you know, sand and just deposited its sand onto this planet. That was so fucking cool. I'm the master of landings. Yep, music. <laughs> Almost done. I think I have just enough time to read this scroll. Friends visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ash Twin Project at the High Energy Lab. Ember Twin's equator. Became lost in Ember Twin, my gratitude. And they found me. High Energy Lab is... oh, fuck. See it, large solar panels. Imagine eventually, Eric Gunner would lose his head if it weren't anatomically impossible. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, my dad had some similar issues, and he's been, um, doing treatment, and you know what? He's been doing a little bit better. A lot better, in fact. Vinny has a father. I was birthed into existence... ...by an unholy union of trash and ducks. Whoa, 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 whoa. I guess we're here now. Am I- am I gonna be able to get back? You know what, this is for the best. We learned nothing. Nothing was accomplished. Seems about right. The worst one was where 10 seconds after launch you flew into the sun. It's too fast. <laughs> okay, that one was worse. Um, there's still a couple places we haven't been. Giants Deep we haven't been to. Something really strange orbiting Giants Deep. What the fuck is that? What the fuck are you? What is that?
Wait, is this a gas giant? I'm afraid. Oh god, this is my worst nightmare. You, you chat. The idea of a gas giant, and like I've said many times, falling through Jupiter is frightening to me for some reason. And yet, there seems to be a... a spot to land. This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. If I know my brothers, Avens, and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I propose we give Avens and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. So this is, I guess, where they launched. And, uh, I think I saw it in orbit, but it was broken. Wow. Yeah, this- this game is- is... This game is kind of perfect for me. Are we- were we launched? Am I in space? What the fuck? We- We got- whoa! Uh, now I'm scared. This is really terrifying. And I am underwater. Okay, okay. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. I wish I were, friend, but no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Six minutes, three seconds ago, long-range probe successfully launched from orbital probe cannon. What, like... Oh, shit, like, at the beginning of the loop it's launched? Huh. What the fuck? Whoa, what the fuck? This is what it looks like on board the thing. But we can't get too far. What's that under there? Chat, there's a strange thing under there. Vin, deep water is my biggest fear. Get off this planet. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's one of mine, too. Found a secret thing. Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares all who ask the knowledge needed. Shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Oh. Oh, this is an important place to be. Seek the Wandering Arch. Huh? The message thing is moving. I, w I thought I was crazy, but you're right. It is. Oh, God. Unidentified signal nearby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like 2001 monolith. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Bean. Vinny Reed? I, I have read. It says here, observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I think I understand now. Oh god, and right at the end here now too? Fuck. I'm not going to have enough time to solve this stuff, will I? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, chat. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is the last one, but we made it harder. Oh no! Ah, oh, fuck. I couldn't play the Song of Time, it wouldn't let me use the ocarina chat. I tried. Yeah, there's the probe. See, now I know what the fuck I'm looking at. That's Giant's Deep, there's the broken probe, and there's the thing that was launched. What is that thing? I just saw another thing, you see that thing?
going to it. What are you going to, that blue dot? And I overshot it. Also, chat was saying that it's pointless. Well, if anything, we can try to do that again at some point. The blue thing. Oh. Oh, yep, 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 yep. I just wanted to show the chat that you can, in fact, go in there. I should go back to Giant's Deep before I uh, start futzing about with all this shit. It's like I keep getting distracted by other things when I should just stick to one... Well, not really should, but I kind of want to stick to one thing, but then there's all this cool stuff. My species didn't really colonize all of this planet, did they? I'm still amazed at how much ore the Ash Twin project requi require. Excuse me. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? completed towers I've seen are quite large. I was wondering about those towers. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned accordingly. That only works if they spoke English. I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber hearths ore only for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Well, that's nice of them. Projection stone. Yo, this room is... What is this psychedelic crazy room? This is a freakout room. That's what they called them in the 60s. You'd go to, like, a concert, and they would call it, like, a freakout. And it would just be, like, a bunch of loud, weird noises and music. And, like, um, strange psychedelic visuals. I, I just got a, uh, an achievement for this. Is this, like, just a little probe that... I thought this was, like, a satellite. It's the Moon Guy satellite. Oh, right, he was talking about that. That's right. That's right. Yo. Now that's a landing. What? Where? Mallow, my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. Kasava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see, and am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? At great peril. I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Given the orbital probe cannon, all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye in the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can. And... As far as it can, I'll make some adjustments. Someone tried to tell me words, Vinny, but they spelled words as wads. W-O-D-S, which is exactly what I've been saying for the past couple minutes. Exactly. Damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage. Intact. No structural damage. Viewpoint. Viewport window fractured. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module. Missing. Yes. That looks like Brittle Hollow. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. 17 minutes, 29 seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. But how? how where did the signal come from? No one's alive down there. Ash Twin Project. We gotta go to the Ash Twin. And find out what the fuck happened here. Huh. Okay. That's how it broke apart. 
So, um, begin launch log, orbital probe cannons, uh, launch request received, probe launch successful. Uh, probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. And a warning, orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch, damage to multiple modules detected. Oh, and then, and then there's this, which we already saw. Someone said, why don't we have lore like this on Earth? Because we have clickbait instead. Uh, we don't have a lot of time left in this loop. And instead of going to the Tower of Quantum Fuck Canics, I'm gonna head over to, um... The Ash Twin. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the sun. If- if it- You can walk on the sun. Booyakasha, welcome to my main man, Buzz Aldrin. The first geezer to walk on the sun. You can't walk on the sun, it's too hot, but surely you can walk on the sun in the winter. That's Sally G. No, no one's seen Ali G? He actually went and asked Buzz Aldrin what it was like to walk on the sun. Imagine having gone to the moon, allegedly, and having some dude then tell you that you can walk on the sun with a straight face and be like, totally convincing about how- how stupid he is. Yeah, well, I- I didn't say allegedly, did I? Someone said, Jesus Christ, Vinny, come on. Explain, what do you mean, Jesus Christ, come on? Too, um, rational for you? Yeah, so it turns out that the sun has a lot of gravity. You know, the, the same thing that keeps the planets in orbit. And I'm not even going to attempt to land on Sun Station. Yeah, we'll get to the Bramble. I, I just... Again, kind of like Breath of the Wild, you set a goal and then a million things distract you. Yeah, I don't have a very good feeling about this interloper. We're good. It could have been way worse. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back? home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? What's that noise? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we should have landed on the dark side of the comet. It's just like totally frozen in ice. wonder if there's a way in there. So my ship is gone. Vinny, you can catch it if you leave now. I I'm not even going to make the attempt, my friend. Vinny, you don't have enough oxygen. Cool. What the hell is this? There it is. The white hole. It's deep. Fuel level critical. It's fine. It's fine. Go! Jeez. Here we go. Oh my god. We can't get in. Can't enter a white hole? Oh well. I was about to play some music, but then I got a cool ad and it ruined it. Try this again. If you could go to a planet, which planet would you visit? Uh, someone wants to know my answer. Everyone in chat is saying Uranus. In our solar system, I would like to be on Pluto. I'm going to count it as a planet. Just to see what the solar system looks like from that far out. If it was a fictional planet, the one that Thanos retires to. After he's put in his 40 years and he's got his pension. Vinny, what are you doing? I'm waiting for this gate to appear over here. The gate doesn't move. 
Okay, well now that happened, so that's fine. Oh, cool crystal. Why, why would the game do this to me? Because someone in chat wrote, because you are stupid. I, I love it when someone tries to burn the streamer and then they misspell their burn. We offer our congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who follow later. Well, I did the thing. Someone in the chat said Quantum Tarantino. Yeah, the, I love Quantum Tarantino's films. But the cool thing about Quantum Tarantino is that he's always looking at feet unless you're observing him, and then he's looking at the other foot. Also, the interloper, I think when it's close to the sun, maybe the ice will melt, and then I can get in that ship. His films are only bad if you watch them. <laughs> oh no! That's probably, what, the fifth time? Please, autopilot, do not get me killed. <laughs> Another happy landing. Kenobi is Wedge Nephew. Well, that's an interesting way to say- I know exactly what you mean, but the way you worded that... ...was very interesting- oh. I think did it. Oh, ghost matter. Oh, fuck you! I, I can't let that go, I have to go back there. <laughs> Someone just wrote, Sun, 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 here it comes! By ship. We're receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center. Starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. <sighs> I didn't even breathe for that. spacesuit killed by the ghost crystals <sighs> the interloper good choice of music or music style the spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings no rather the source of what's within the stone i'm detecting some form of exotic matter Stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing. But it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Pi. Whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is it? <laughs> this is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantly. And the pressure is, sh is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Return to the shuttle, right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I'll learn what I can here. Go, warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now. Now, Pokey! The stone you're looking at is already burst open. Well, did that I know. Yeah, obviously this isn't spherical anymore, so... Um... What do I do now? Right, this is a little... This is a little scary. 
Do I just die in here? You're in a frozen comet, you must die anyway. The good that's a good That's a good point. Hang on a minute. I've seen Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. And rain. Time to die. Bramble time it is. Spooky in here, chat. As in, very spooky. <gasps> okay, my friend. Oh my god. I nearly shit myself. Holy fuck. Okay, well that brought back some, uh, some bad Subnautica memories. I mean, good, but also bad. Please don't do this. Oh, please don't do this! Please don't do this! I really should have my guitar ready for just such an occasion. Let me see if I can... I actually don't know what key the song is in. I think it's D, but I don't, I don't know. I think it might be a capo. Something like that. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I I'm surprised I never actually learned how to play that song. Now, the and listen, if that, if me playing that on an unplugged electric guitar and screwing it up twice gets claimed, and somehow Paul McCartney and Ringo get the rest of, of the money from the video, I'm just gonna stop. You know what? I'm gonna burn Beatle records. Okay. All right. Chat. Chat, this is... This is very scary. Okay, and I don't like this. The inside of this planet looks so much bigger. Fuck off! Use your signal scope. I what? I was? I guess. There were a ton on the scout. Yeah, that was where I was going though. I was trying to get to that area so I could... Wait, maybe that was a bad idea. Wait, is... Wait, 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 wait. There's someone in here playing harmonica. I'm doing a thing, chat. I'm doing a thing. And then there's more. <gasps> what the fuck is that? What is that? It's in two places at the same time, chat. Just keeps going. Huh? This is, yeah, this is insanity. This whole section of the game is just pure... Craziness, chat. Pure craziness. Look at the scout. Oh, 
that's bullshit. It was already there. I just warped into the mouth of an anglerfish. Please. Please. found it. Let's see if I can actually even fucking land in here. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I forgot to put my suit on. Oh my god. Oh. My god. Like, as I was exiting the ship, I saw my hands. My alien hands, and I was like, oh no. Is this David Attenborough? So you know, really, what the fuck is that thing? Is that the quantum moon? No, that's- that's definitely- Oh, You are a dupe. Well. Well then. Yeah, we're- we're, uh... We're good. It's- it's scarier without the ship, isn't it? I'm gonna guess that there's an angler fish right in front of the spot I need to go. Fuck is this thing? Was oh, that a jape signal? This is also an anglerfish. Just a, looks like a dead one. Wow, I did it. I'm here. Feldspar. Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one's come in here. Well, ever actually. Feldspar, you're alive. You never wore the brightest hatchling, were you? That's right, I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, um, you know, crashed violently. Wait, what? Oh, this is a good story. I had just finished up exploring the core of Giant's Deep and needed a new challenge, and none of us had ever been inside the Dark Bramble, so I think, hey, let's give that a try. So I've been cruising around for a while, dodging the odd massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, and I run into a huge anglerfish, the biggest I'd ever seen. Pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off. Nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine, and... Well, like I said, I, cr I crash. Blammo! On impact, my, vi my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, and I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly. So I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I found a dark bramble seed on Timber Hearth. That's bad business, Hatchling. As Chert will tell you, if you so much as glance in the Dark Bramble's direction, there used to be a fifth planet where the Bramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick-like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be headed toward a, uh, the same fate. I'll tell you what, we Harthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. Man, there's a lot of threats in this solar system. Where should I explore? That's the spirit. Anywhere's good, but you should know that space is weird in here, intensely. Ever tried throwing your probe into one of these weird seeds? See there? With that little opening? Just big enough to launch one through. Your probe tracker will tell you the probe is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly. Um, because space doesn't work right in here. The seed looks small, but see? Inside it's bigger. Much bigger. Had a lot of time to think about this, but my theory in space is, uh, my theory is space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. That's my theory. Keep that in mind while you're exploring Dark Bramble and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. Hmm. Just imagine all that and then I just like die from the fire. Oh, oh, cool centipede. That just warps us back around. And we're out. We- we made it out. Error duplicate signal. Wait, is that on Timber Hearth? Vinny, go to your ship. Um, what ship? Yeah, use oxygen as a propellant, yeah.
the moon. Can't tell. It isn't? Okay. Let's check it out anyway. This has got an atmosphere. Okay, okay. Why would you read chat? I don't know. I don't know, just habit. <laughs> this looks pretty spooky so far. Alright. Was this stuff not here when I turned? Yeah, this is the quantum moon. Observation station or something. I don't know, maybe they landed a probe here. No my recordings. I am here after watching it wander the skies for so long. I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is... And we are. The fuck? Um, what? Where's my ship? Well, we're at the Brittle Hollow. I know that much. Careful. Careful there, Scout. Here we go. There's a thing over there. <sighs> Fucking hell. Welcome to White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. Tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. Warp 10. Lizards. I have become Lizard, destroyer of worlds, and Catherine Janeway. Remy and I reviewed the records you sent. Okay, they appear to show no my are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow, slightly before departing from Whitehall Station. As I've already told Rami, these measures can't be accurate. How can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Pokey, as Pi is confident, the reading is inaccurate. She's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. An update. Pokey, the High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. Ember Twins Equator. You need to see this. There's the quantum moon again. We do have to go back into the Bramble. Gravity. Oh, weird. I just want to know where the freak this goes. Never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They're awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here, too. Thing tastes terrible. The outside's all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it um, insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Here we go, I guess. Note to Feldspar, do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if it were the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat, love Feldspar. Yeah, we're good. There's just three ships. We gotta get one of the three ships. I'm sure they're all in working order. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this is the South Pole. We didn't land here last time. Uh, another dead Nomai. Oh, so this is where it is in position, you know, around which object. I guess while I'm on it, it doesn't... Right, now it's... In a different location. 
Is the surface of this place different per planet? And now the loop is just about over. I want to see if there's a specific event that I can track. No, not now. Jesus. Vinny, what's your favorite type of hard slash Italian meat? I'm partial to Genoa. <laughs> well, that is the complete opposite of what we just saw on screen to go from a supernova to an, uh, a hard Italian meat. Keep looking, keep looking. There we go. I'm going to walk over to the North Pole. And hopefully we'll get one of the things, the thing to appear over there, the shrine. Hey, Anakin, you want to live on a sand planet again? Come, come hang out with your father, what the? It needs to be here. <laughs> and there it is. Sixth secret location. What is all this shit? Holy fuck. Oh, oh! Oh shit, you're alive! Who, who are you? This is so cool. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did. Never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You will have my gratitude for understanding mine. Or you have my gratitude for understanding mine. This is the quantum moon, where we both are standing. Despite also orbiting another celestial, other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. <laughs> oh. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon's surface does now, while at the eye. From this we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for, ex for instance, are quantum, thus the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum, the same way the areas surrounding quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually became quantum too. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now. Although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it, the eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. I am Solanum, a Nomai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth, and we now call it home. Many in my clan have believed the Eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the Eye was malevolent to have lured my clan to the star system only to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope, fondest hope to see the eye itself someday, but I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Maybe you've been dead for years. Oh 
shit. Well, fuck, I don't know what to do now. Where's my damn ship? Just have to let the loop do its poop. That was a really fucking cool scene. So we gained many informations. As I've said many times, another happy landing. Friends, if you have any sign, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me he vanished without a trace during our research trip and has been missing ever since. He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant and without a warning. I turned away from Coleus to examine a sample and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air. And Nona, I'm afraid for him. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed, the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. Quantum rocks. Oh shit. I haven't met this lad. Goodness, it's you. Hello. I take it your first launch went well, then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. What's weird is that I've actually seen a couple of supernova today. Usually I'd be fortunate just to see one. Keep an eye or two on the stars and maybe you'll spot one yourself. Um... Oh man, uh, this is a lot of stuff I could catch up. Hidden planet? How fascinating. Might interest you to know the existence of an additional planet is entirely plausible if you look at the physics of our solar system. It would just have to be incredibly far out there. Farther than the Harshan ships would be able to travel. And honestly, we don't know all that much about what's out there. The farther you go, the less we know. As such, it's well within the realm of possibility such a planet exists. I still have unfinished business here. I don't remember what exactly, but... Ah, oh, shit. Okay, gotta figure out where to land, and what, like, even to do, really. Guess this is fine. Yeah, there was a, definitely a couple things that needed some exploration. Oh, fuck. Not again. Can I recover health at my ship, which is now floating in space? I confess I'm deeply curious about what you and Pokey found on Whitehole Station that started this project. Can I visit some time to learn more? I recommend you do. The Whitehole Station is a model... ...is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin project, so a visit to the station would be doubly useful. I suppose more precisely, I would like to visit the Whitehole Station with you, Clary. Yarrow, stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister. In romantic matters, her density... ...rivals a neutron star's. And go meet her on Whitehall Station. I'd be happy to explain our findings. Ah, fuck. <laughs> fuck. I don't know where I'm looking. I don't see a goddamn thing that I need to do that I'm I'm unaware. Oh, shit. I'm safe. I'm in a building. Let's see what's at the Giant's Deep. Alright, gravity. You're going to test the memory statues tonight. Phlox says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. Dr. Phlox from Star Trek Enterprise? But, what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? I really want to see the, uh, the test too, Lammy, but... That's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Phlox will let us see a later test. 
Welcome to Giant's Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. There's a secret entrance. Find it. Hmm, found it. Yeah, once your kneecaps explode, you get teleported into the, uh, the secret area. It's a secret technique. Secret entrance. I saw the quantum moon for like a split second there, before my character's eyes blinked. Oh, okay, it's, it's one of our friend lads. Forgot about that. Hey, nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece for a solo launch. It's a doozy, isn't it? Hey, so don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately, or is it just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Oh, wow, someone else has been dying too. Looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing horn Hornfells and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember by the next one. They don't even realize anything's different. Here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from that loop replay back to me. Pretty sure that's related to this big stone no my statue I found in one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I'd seen them through my own eyes. Just like what happens each time I die. What should I explore? Well, here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky at the start of every... this thing. Crazy how I haven't seen that death yet. My god, Vinny's mission is dying every single way you possibly can in this game. I live to serve. Yarrow, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in its closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? It tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in this star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. So my my memories are being stored somewhere in a hard drive over at uh, Ash Twin. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. Hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. I'm curious. Is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? Well, as an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is it the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions effectively be the same? Suppose that time were rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? Who's Stein and why does he have a gate? Trip 4, entry, whatever. Crashes 2, boring crashes 0. Remember to see Slate when I get back. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, all the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giants Deep. You just got feldsparred. That was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Uh, can't wait to tell Hornsfells and uh, Gossan about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so that's one more off the list. Seems that all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. Feld spar and what's it's horn fells, not Hornsfeld. Can we just rename the dude Hornsfeld, please? Horn horns is Hornsby. So he, the dude managed Feldspar managed to make it to the core. Another happy landing. No getting back in there. <laughs> How do you stay so calm in the face of impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously, I meditate. I'm gonna teach you. It'll be the next loop before you know it. Sure, why not? Okay, close your eyes. Was that... What I, what I was supposed to do? Like, was that the other dialogue he had? The answer lies within the sun. There is a station orbiting the sun that I've been dying to get to. So, I'd like to try to get there. Not quite. Alright, I will ask the chat one question. Can you lock onto the sun station? Because I have not been able to do so. No, you cannot. Yeah, this shit ain't happening, chat. Dog, how do we get rid of these cactus? Well, someone just said in chat, imagine being murdered by spiky vegetables. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, please let this be anything. Fucking anything. Quantum cactus? Was that a quantum cactus? Are you kidding me? Whole quave. The whole quave is quantum. Quantum rock. If you come here to look for Coleus, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. Your strange wandering rock friend is here, though Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks and at least two other caverns. I'm sure. I'm unsure if this is relevant. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the Wandering Rock. I was taking notes, and then my lantern died. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Hmm. How curious this rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why that happened. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems to be the clearest hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. Bad start. Bad everything. Spiky vegetable has killed me again. Uh, hang on a second. This is actually perfect. <laughs> this is actually 100% perfect. And there it is. Now the real question is, what is the point of me even being in here? Purple pad does something? Oh. 
Oh. Okay, so... 281,000 years ago... And 42 years... No user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. 6 minutes, 38 seconds ago. Increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. So wait a minute. Oh, wow. That's how long ago all this shit happened? Wow. Mental. Oh. Well, well we're on Sun Station. Jesus. <sighs> what a moment. That fucking view. My god. Star has reached end of natural life cycle. Now approaching red giant stage. Warning. Evacuate sun station. Approximate time until sun station is destroyed by expanding star. 2 minutes 18 seconds. Approximate time until star's death. 13 minutes 48 seconds. Maybe this is natural, I don't- I don't know. But we have to be quick. We don't have a lot of time. What happened? Did Sun Station not fire? It fired, Yarrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were infinitesimally small surface-level changes, but they were barely visible, even to the third eye. The Sun Station is useless. It will never, and could never, cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over, but I'm unsure how to start over. Return to Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching the star system that we'd like to investigate. But you need to tell me why. Why did you crazy bastards want to explode the damn sun? This is our sun. The sun will be overtaking Sun Station momentarily. Sun Station's fucked. This game has some of the most amazing views I've ever seen in a video game. Someone wanted to know how painful it would be to die in a supernova. I, I would think, like... Almost none. It's gonna be instant. Like, you'll probably feel heat, depending on where you are, but that, you know, for a little bit, and then maybe some intense pain that... I am now Sun Station. I am observing the sun. Ah, oh, very interesting solar flare. I wonder if you can even land on Hollow's Lantern. I really, really don't see how I could land on this thing. No shit. Fascinating. Friends in the Timber Hearth Mines, the last type of ore you sent us survives the longest in direct heat. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability and our forge has already burnt through everything you sent. We'll deliver more ore to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the Ash Twin Project's protective shell. My gratitude, I imagine, will also have an updated estimate on how much more ore is needed to seal off the Ash Twin Project. The idea of an encasement that's supernova-proof, however briefly, has kindled my curiosity. Excuse me? There's- there's ghost peppers down here, chat. My god, what have I done?! If I set up a universe, yeah, I'd make it so that, like, the end goal was to get to the eye. And you get there. And it's just Super Mario Brothers. And that's it. Danny, thank you so much for playing my game! 
And then that's- that's it. Nothing else. Remain calm. Remain calm. Well, I don't really know what- what, what I should do from here is- I think there's like a... Teleporter? Let's see, do we suffocate first, or do we... Would you freak out if you heard the Supernova song in real life? 80% of me would be freaking out, and another 20% of me would be like... Yeah, I guess so. I think I'm probably going about this in a very stupid way. There you go. That point was proven. Excuse me. Smunk. Oh! Oh! Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh, no! Scoob! This loop is, is coming to an end. And <laughs> nothing has been done. There's no point. Why, why, like, you know what I mean? Like, why am I even... Bothering with this like bullshit loop. It seems like a warp. Like I have to warp from someplace. Smunk. Knees exploded. Don't tell me I have to do this on the Ash Twin. All in one loop. Try jumping through a cactus. I have a weird feeling it might be too late. Yo, oh fuck. Did the planet just crash into us? Or did we crash into the planet? I I understand gravity. I know what it is. I I understand gravity. I know what it is. John Internet is in chat. Wow. Hi John Internet. I'd like to um get a refund for your service. Well, I'm out of fuel. I can't believe the fuel. I don't- I don't even know that could happen. I, I- thought I just landed the thing. I guess- it, oh, I got hit. It got hit by one of the fucking volcano rock... ...things. Listen, I tried. We're gonna try this again. What am I- my PC? Control- my controller. Buttons aren't working. Are you fucking kidding me? The sticks work, but the buttons don't work. Ah! Oh. Oh. That happened to another streamer just reset. I can't. I just got here. How do I exit on PC? <laughs> Please help. Please help. How do I exit the ship? Please! Chat, I can't even exit. I want to go into the teleporter room so bad. I'm ready for the teleportation. I can't exit. Restart your game and count your losses, unfortunately. So now this is like the fifth time I've arrived here. This game just doesn't want to end. Please let this not be another wasted cycle, for fuck's sake. Please! Um, it got controller support and some other updates and shit, so that's kind of cool. Alright, here we are. We are here. I'm currently very upside down. Where am I taking the first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so those deliveries will be a greater pain in your cervical spine. The tower designs in the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yarrow, he is familiar with them. Okay, so Ember Twin has a thing. Of note, Yarrow believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs, namely, 
that one of the warp towers on Ash Twin will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. No, Yarrow understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize that the Hourglass Twins are so close together they function as a single astral body, with a shared alignment point in between them. Regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body when it's tuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, the tower's base were to shift even slightly, the tower might no longer align with its astral body. We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body center. This gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. <laughs> is everything okay at the forge? The core's dis uh, durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Don't worry, love. Pokey is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully uh, clever. This again. That's- I'm gonna call that the bean chamber, because that's where all the beans are spilled. That sun is looking awful agitated. The stars, they're all dying. There have been too many supernova for it to be anything else. Where next? Do you understand? Our sun, by Hearth's name, where next? What do you mean, where next? It's the stars. You see, all the other stars are dying out. Oh, why did I have to be born at the end of the universe? And our sun, it... The star charts, why? Why did I want to update them so badly? I didn't have to know, but no, oh no, I had to update the star charts. I had to go looking for things I shouldn't have, and now our sun is about to... About to... Oh, I don't feel well. I'd like to be alone, please. If it helps, we're in a time loop, so we won't really die. Uh, well, that's a lovely thought. Is that how you've been coping with this? Does it help? Time loop, you said. I like that idea. Can I just roast the marshmallow on the sun? This is how I like my marshmallows, chat. Like that. A time loop, you said. I like that idea. As the loop progresses, all the stars in the sky die out. All of them? Wait, am I not noticing that? The negative time interval measure, measure, measured at the Whitehall Station was further investigated at the High Energy Lab in the canyon at the Ember Twins Equator. It's near, it's near the Equator. Yes. 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 Okay, maybe, maybe we don't want to go down here like this. Ghost Pepper. I fear our situation may be dire. Pi, Pokey, and I have landed on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the... Oh, this is the, um... I think I already did this. This is the one that was at the interloper. It's just like totally frozen in ice. I wonder if there's a way in there. Um, let's see. Uh, I landed here on this comet not long after the arrival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from beneath the surface. Pi, Pokey, and I were able to- Pi and Pokey were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side. And they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface, either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? 
I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Pokey Pie, come back to me safely, my friends. Ugh. What a miserable, tragic end. wonder if it's too late. I wonder if there's too much sand already. But yeah, next loop, we have to come back. At least now I know, like, there's a shortcut. I know how to do it. It wasn't a seal, it was a Tusken Raider, dude. If you go to the anglerfish overlook and throw a light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. Okay, so that's something we have to do, too. Just got an interesting email. Business inquiry, new awesome game for promotion. Hi, my name is Craig. A company represent most of gaming companies in China. You can visit our front page for details. We are really interested in you and your channel and want to have a cooperation with you on our coming project. The coming program is a game promotion called blank blank. This is more like a casual game, especially good for a break for you on the break from the hardcore ones you usually play. I, I am a hardcore gamer. In conclusion, it's a new mobile game. We believe it is fresh for your audience. What we want most is integrated video, and also please provide us with the rate for an exclusive video and a pre-roll as well. Launch time is estimated around June of this year. Well, I just looked at the date, and we are an hour into July here on the East Coast, so I'm going to have to travel to a different time zone and get this thing done quick. The pleasure will be ours to answer back. And no, it wasn't Raid Shadow Legends. What if I just meditate and go back to the beginning of the loop and then do the deal? Also, in order to do promotions for this game, we need your credit card informations. If you wouldn't mind furnishing us with that information, we would be grateful. Thank you. This, yeah, this is super early in the loop, my lord. No wonder I missed this. <laughs> Records show no my arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow, very slightly before departing from Whitehall Station. Remy and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22-minute interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it actually is sent through the warp. Interesting! 22 minutes, you say? We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Remy and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. It would also require advanced warp technology um, able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit those proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be the Ash Twin. The Ash Twin project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between the Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we used warp towers like the one we have at Whitehall Station to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location? Poke Root and I can begin work on this immediately at the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Thank you. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The Giant's Deep Tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone, and we could model the Timber Hearth Tower after a geyser mountain. Oh. Well... Well, yeah. Then he do the thing? Huh. Yep. Yeah, it, it exits before it enters, yeah. What the fuck? Oh my god!
Oh no! Oh no! Amazing. And it's kazoos. Did they really have to make it that easy to destroy the fucking fabric of space-time? Best ending. So, uh, that was amazing. And thus ends the loop, I guess. What did it say? I like how the lights from this probe can light up the whole planet. Almost. I say probe, it's a spaceship. But, you know. It's got some really fucking powerful, it's got some big lumens. Son of a bitch, this game. What a, what a cool... ...thing that is. Cool. Whoever was... ...it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change, the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pie says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Oh, those are some small bones down there. Oof. Oh, man. Oh, man, there's like four dead kids in here. This game doesn't fuck around, does it? Ash Twin, I kind of want to do the observatory. I don't know if it's too late in this loop. There's one. All right, the signals go. Oh, shit. Fucking hell, how did I not notice any of that shit? I mean, I guess I kind of saw the crust from the explosion, but... I didn't consciously put together what was happening. Chert was probably freaking the fuck out when he saw all the supernovas. Alright. Um... Alright, so, here's the observatory. And, uh, we have to find a way in. Okay, chat is going to hate me for doing this, but here we go. So, yeah, we're, we're in a little bit of trouble here. Alright, well, uh, that's something that I probably can't do. The ship seems to be stuck. Okay, so this is the opposite end of the observatory. This is one of the first mysteries I observed. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. Brittle Hollow, South Pole. Let's go over there. That's awesome. Could be japes, but we'll try. And there goes that. <laughs> oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh. I need more marshmallows! I almost got spaghettified, but I think it was rigatoni instead. I really, really, really should not be doing this now. The tower. <laughs> it's a little too late for that, I think. Really putting my platforming to the test here. Okay, good. Trees. I was just wondering. Finally, the Southern Observatory. Kasava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. But one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are currently crafting a model to determine why this happened. 
an update, it's now clear that there are two different types of cyclones. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. Those are the cyclones Cassava typically use, uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters below the current. That makes a lot of sense. My gratitude, Spire Conway, showing me your handiwork, is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone, but was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. How should our methods change as we continue to search for the Eye of the Universe? We know what the Eye looks like thanks to the Quantum Moon, so... What if we try to find the Eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the Eye is in, relocation, in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. We need to build the probe launching mechanism to cover these long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun and would provide the best angles for launch. It's also moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. Okay, so they want to... That's what that probe is that we're watching at the very beginning of every loop. <laughs> no wonder the eye is emitting all this garbage. <laughs> There's no real, you know, explanation. It's like, well, could be there, could be there, who knows? Let's see if I have time to do the Giant's Deep thing. <laughs> but they're creating, like, a void of electricity. I don't know if I like that very much. I don't even really want to be out here. <laughs> Vin, remember the jellyfish lesson. Note to Feldspar, do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if it were the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. Uh, well. Not my fault. It's not my fault! fucking game. This fucking game. Hmm. So I'm- I am shitting my pants right about now? A little bit? And somehow the Nomai have found it- <laughs> have found their way here too. And this is another part of their plan. No, I know that they made their way here, but it's just like, you, you want to be the first to discover some of these places. And you're just not. Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the Eye of the Universe. You'll be the first to see them. I'm honored and terrified. I wonder if they use the sun. I wonder if they use the fucking sun to launch the thing. Oh no 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 Vin, you need to read the lore? Where where's the reading? It's plenty of time. Plenty of time. And even so, we're underwater. There's no way the supernova is gonna get a, get us. Good night, Mike. Good night, Mike. Ugh. I missed the only important part. I think they knew, and I like barn finders. But anyway, I think they knew that in order for their plan to succeed, they had to destroy the system. That's why they wanted to go back 22 minutes, and they found that very interesting. And. Uh, it was a sacrifice needed to find the eye. They figured they would just have one person or several people go back in time, get the data on the eye, and then go back 
and that way they didn't destroy the universe. Okay, so receiving data from probe. Nine, three, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we see that. And then... Oh, it, it, it goes. It go. How many times did they send this fucking probe out? They sent it in so many different directions. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched. 9,318,095. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by probe. Well, they, they only needed to launch it the one time because they could then go back in time using black holes and send it out nine million times. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. They fucking found it. I'm writing this down, by the way. Drawing it on a piece of paper. So this is only happening just now. And now that we have this knowledge, we can, you know, stop the project, maybe. Somehow. I don't know how, but we could probably, like, stop it. We know where the eye is. We stop the project, and then the, the universe doesn't destroy. Um, well, here's a thing that I've never- I don't think I've seen. After closer observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of this cave's pool, so unfortunately we'll have to mine from the other sites. On the opposite hand, new life. This species is semi-aquatic. Very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. I was watching them once during a rest, and the hours escaped from me. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. They remind me of subterranean species that my mentor, Melore, once told me about. From when our clan used to travel across the universe, I imagine she would have enjoyed these life forms greatly. That's- that's us, chat. That's- that's these life forms. There we are. Um, how did I manage to glitch the ship? Okay. I don't think I got stuck in anything quantum. I think I just got stuck. So there's a distress beacon here. Right? Let's take a look at this. Distress beacon here. Distress beacon here. Oh fuck. What have I done? Another happy landing. I hate this place so much. Getting nervous. Our escape pod crashed when we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here, but this pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or more probably await rescue. Seka, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave quickly. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. Okay, here we go. Oh. Here is something. It's a lot of dead nomai. I wonder if it's all... Wow. What the fuck is that stuff? What is going on here? I wonder if it's, it's just, like, two of them. To any that come here searching for us, we followed one of two beacons from the vessel to this place, but can now go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed. Yet the opening is too small for even a single Nomai to fit through, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and still so far is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon, we will be unable to hear it. There's nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside, or at least attempt to comprehend why this has happened. My dearest hope is that the other sa escape pods will were able to reach relative safe safety. Vinny, two are hugging. Well, now I'm depressed. Man, fuck this place. Well, I, I gotta... You know, a, a thing to follow, at least. <laughs> Fuck. 
They're- yeah, I remember that they're blind, but... I- I guess just don't make noise, go real slow. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get eaten as soon as I, uh... get in there, but I'm gonna try to... not make a- a fucking lick of sound. Okay. Well, we have a, a goal, at least. Um... Ship, what are you doing? Ship. <laughs> I don't want to speak, even though they can't hear my microphone. Just waiting to get a little closer. Just a little bit more. The heart. Maybe that's the heart of the bramble. Set the controls for the heart of the bramble. Or eggs. Anglerfish eggs, perhaps? Oh, shit. This is why we need a flamethrower. <sighs> Maybe I'm safe? I'm not sure. Yep. Seems like we're okay. Okay. Let's find out what this vessel is all about. Warp core. I'm recording now! I've never encountered anything like this before. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. This is the first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone, prepare to warp immediately! Eskal, wait! I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? We can send the message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly. We can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for the warp instead. That's why they came to this. So, so this is them discovering the eye for the first time. They warp into the Dark Bramble. Or into some problem and then, oh shit. To any know my clans whose vessels can hear this message. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and f fewer resources and safe places within space now, so my clan and I believe the best option is for all our clans to stay together. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of Eskal. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskal's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. Vinny, those messages are recent communications between Nomai clans. Oh, this is where you draw the symbol. I'm writing this down, by the way. I'm drawing it on a piece of paper. I mean, we don't have a warp core, but... This, this seems endgamey. The myth of Eskal's ship is that it's the ship you're in. I know the names are hard to keep track of. Uh, I, the name Eskal seemed familiar, and yes, it, the names are a little hard to keep track of. That's kind of cool if that became the myth and it still picked up the signals from other ships, talking about the 300,000 year old ship. That's really fucking cool. I love this game. I really do. Uh, I Listen, this may be hyperbolic, but after the last stream in particular, like the, um the Giant's Deep, and solving that puzzle. Like, trying to- just realizing that I had everything I needed to get down there from the beginning. To find the Cyclone, to go into the Jellyfish, like, all of that shit being just knowledge that I picked up, and how cool all of those events were. Like, when people were saying that this game was, like, Game of the Year, and, like, you know, people were going on about it, and like I said, the Giant Bomb, I listen to their Game of the Year podcast. I listen to- every now and then I'll check in on one of their podcasts, but... A couple of people were like, oh, it's- definitely, it's amazing. I was honestly, it's like, it's this, it's knowledge, it's- I was like, that sounds a little... ...highfalutin. I don't know if I have any room for that kind of falute right now. Um, and you know, too much of hearing like, you gotta watch Game of Thrones, bruh. It's amazing, bruh. Like, that kind of shit can turn people off. And then you watch it for the first four seasons, and you're like, Oh! Oh, that's incredible. Um, but 
when when it came to this, I knew it was going to be good. I was very interested in playing the. It's right up my alley. It ticks all the boxes: space exploration, um, you know, walking simulator. Even though it's really not that, but. I was excited to check it out, but I still was a little turned off by the idea of it. Like, how good could it be? Now that we're five streams or so in... It'll sound a little hyperbolic, but this this is one of the most unique and maybe one of the best games I've ever played. Not in like a fun, like, oh, I'm playing Mario Brothers game kind of way. Um, it's just, I've never seen a piece of interactive entertainment do what this game does. Have you found another place with a warp core yet? I believe I have. Advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of the Ash Twin. Central chamber. <laughs> well, may as well enjoy the end of the world. It's gonna look awesome. Just sit back and have a pint while the world is destroyed. Okay, I didn't even see it. Really? Sun? Man, this autopilot really, really wants me to live inside the sun. Autopilot complete. Oh, nice, thanks. Um... Guess I have... I don't know if I have to wait. <gasps> what? I am on... Ember Twin. You chose... poorly. I have locked orbit with the sun. Now oh, get out of here, what are you doing, planet? No, leave! No, no, no! Now we play the game, What Kills Me First. This is a game that every human must play. And oxygen. We we already talked to Chert. Oh well, not not all this. I found modern Nomai transmissions saying the universe is dying. You what? I don't um what? You mean to say that there are modern Nomai out in other parts of space, and they believe the universe, all of it, the whole thing is dying currently, right now? If that's true. How could I have missed so many signs the supernova were there? But I... I've been studying the stars for well... What does it matter if... Oh, I'm very sorry, but I have to look over my charts. I, I hope you don't mind. I just made Chert depressed. Sand, 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 here it lands. Finally awake. I don't know what to say anymore, Chad. I, I've, I've run out of things to say. I'm just so immersed. I'm immersed. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. This is what this was all about. We went into the planet core. I was wondering where this would take- Yes, of course it would take me into the planet core. This is the last piece of the puzzle in, in many ways. Which was this fucking mask room. 10 minutes, 44 seconds ago, received data from previous cycles. Mask receiving data from probe tracking module. Giant's deep memory statue, timber hearth memory statue. 12 minutes until end of cycle transmission. Quantum transmissions, man. 
I don't even know if they're quantum. I just like to say that word. Yes, today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in the space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet. The Ash Twin project, powerful enough to send information back in time. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab. I can still hardly believe Rami's hypothesis was true. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. It's nice of them. Pokey just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant's Deep, where Kasava is working with Avens to craft the orbital probe cannon, where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Our friends on Giant's Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me cannon is doing well, and that Avens advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avens can. But then, if anyone can goad a device into exploding, that too is likely Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the Orbital Probe Cannon crew in the interest of safety. Phlox and Daz finished the memory statues today. They're truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, these memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pi and Idea have worked hard on the Sun Station. It is at last complete. If everything goes as planned, the structure will prompt the Sun's explosion, which in turn will supply the power Ash Twin Project requires. I knew it. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin Project. Here's what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin Project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Wait, maybe the Sun Station didn't work. And this is just the natural life cycle of the universe and the sun is exploding on its own. Oh no. So it didn't work then, but it's working now because the fucking thing was gonna explode anyway. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. Suppose we redesign the sun station. To generate power of that magnitude, a supernova is still our only viable option. This is easier expressed than accomplished. We can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline, if you prefer, Idea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for the moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system. We're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since last explored someplace new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. Wait, 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 wait. Chat, remind me what the fuck happened on the comet again? They went there and died. The ghost matter killed them. The ghost matter exploded in the entire solar system, but it didn't kill my species, the little lizard lads. It eroded, water makes it safe. Your species was underwater. Oh my god. I can't believe how fucking intricate this was. That goddamn interloper, it just seemed evil. Well, that's really fucking sad. I can't believe they were able to make a story like this. And... If find a way to get emotional resonance with, like, pe people from a species that are long dead. Warp core. I just realized something. I do not have a ship on this planet right now. I'm just gonna go back in. Oh, right, stay in here. This- this can- Wait a minute, the Ash Twin Project protects against the supernova for a little while. Or so it said. It's amazing how close the Nomai got to achieving their goals. And then some... shitty... interloper... comet... ruins everything. Yeah, and the Dark Bramble. I mean, they wouldn't- well... We wouldn't have known about any of this, I guess. There- there wouldn't be much of a game if the Dark Bramble didn't exist. Uh, what happened? He looked away? Yeah, I was looking for the thing. What the fuck? It sucked you in? Check your map. 
What? What? What is the map button, chat? What is the map button? <laughs> oh. Vinny, you are here, and you are here. Wait a minute, I'm also in there? Oh man, I've gone quantum. How does it feel to be in two places at the same time? Uh, no different than usual. There's an actual dev in chat. Who's the dev? John Wilds. <laughs> If it's not Japes, and you really, uh, Kelsey, I love this game. Um, and just today and last time, I really started figuring out how fucking brilliant the writing is. And it doesn't feel forced, either. It's amazing how, like, everything just feels like a natural extension of, like, every other thing, and the core ideas really just expand naturally. And I don't feel like I've been fucking subverted in a way that makes me want to, you know, puke. Vinny blind? It's behind you? What am I walking by, chat? Don't I have to go to the end of the thing to do the thing? The lore wall? Oh, 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 what the hell? If you're not me, then I'm as confused as you are. Do you think we have the same memories? Good question, let's see. What the heck happened? Do you think it's okay there's two of us? Well, we're talking to each other. Nothing's exploded yet. Gossin always says that means the date's going well. Yeah, but it's Slate's definition of a boring date. Makes sense, Gossin and Slate never dated. It's the greatest day of my life. Sure, two of us is great and all, but... It's the greatest? What about the day we, you know... What about that one? I'm talking about the day I, uh... What? No, I'm talking about the other one. Oh, yeah, that way makes way more sense. This is also wasting time. Ah. What have we done jumping into that black hole? It was a terrible idea. Yes, yes it was. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Loop until there's six guys. Dream, I need you to go back into the chamber. Here we go. It's upside down. I'm upside down. Just remember, if you die, the universe ends forever. No big deal. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'm- I'm good. Fine! It's fine! It's fine! Everything here is fine, how are you? This is it, Luigi. Gravity. That, that's certainly helpful. We ready, chat? For the eye of the universe? Really be there, though. Orange is your sun. You can watch it die safely. I just saw the quantum moon for like a brief second. There it is. Unable to pinpoint location. It's, it's very spooky. Final Fantasy VII crater noises. <laughs> cool quantum storm you got there. Well, oh, they really nailed the atmosphere of this.
What? No. Your clone died in the supernova. Oh my god! I just got... Fucking... No! No! That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair. That really killed the whole mood. Well, well, hang on a minute. Okay, now this is- this is... What if I'm just quicker about it, chat? What if I just go real quick? Oh. Well, here we go. I-I like how this is better than the movie Interstellar. And now, we are interstellar. The Nomai never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Harthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity, then exploded in a violent supernova. Of all the life forms who will perish in the oncoming death of the universe, we will miss the anglerfish the least. This is as true as it's ever been. The Nomai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it the deadly substance we called ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. Goddamn interloper. Bye, galaxy. That was awesome. That was really cool. Fades away like dust. Galaxies being fucking destroyed. Find the seven pages to continue, says a chat member. Was, was that me? Because because me is how I got into this mess in the first place. Always have an emergency supply of marshmallows. Even for um, Kubrickian mind fucks. Do you hear music? It's um, not quite time yet. Pretty sure we'll need the others for this next part. We'll need, you know, everyone. No rush. Take your time. It might not even exist here. This is weird. The stars were beautiful, weren't they? Even if our star is what ultimately killed us. I'll wait here and remember them while you gather, everybody. No, my friend. No, my friend. I was hoping I wouldn't have to see another anglerfish. Hatchling, you found me. Nice to have company around the campfire, isn't it? Go on, get the others. I want them to miss out. No, no good. No. Oh. Weird. You missed all of that sequence. All of them and I were standing shoulder to shoulder of each other to reach the eye. Oh, uh, okay. That's cool. I'll just miss cool things. Why am I reading chat again? Well, now I know Mike can join us. It's Solanum. Hypothesis, everyone must be here before we can begin. Once they arrive, I believe we'll be ready for the next step. Glad you remembered me. What do you say, time buddy? Ready to start the music? Can't wait to play with the whole group again. Can I start? Okay, it won't let you down. Conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Yes. This song is new to me, but I'm honored to be a part of it. I want to play an instrument. I like missing cool stuff in the game. 
I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? Not yet. It's tempting to linger in this moment while every possibility still exists, but unless they are collapsed by an observer, they will never be more than possibilities. I learned a lot by the end of everything. The past is past now, but that's, you know, that's okay. It's never really gone completely. The future is always built on the past, even if we won't get to see it. Still, it's um, time for something new now. Even if it's over now, I had a good time learning. But I think the rules are about to change. Wow, how long has it been since I got to make music with everyone around a campfire? I'm really happy we're all here. You got a little close, don't you think? Well, it... worked out alright in the end, I suppose. I hope there are beasties in the next one. Tell you what, this has been really fun and I got to help make something pretty cool, so I've got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know? I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. I think I blew up the universe, chat. But it's okay, we're starting a new Big Bang. Universe 2. Actually, this might be Universe... Omega. This might be Universe Infinite. We don't know. Maybe it's Universe Negative Infinite. This could happen at the end of every universe, and we just don't know it. A conscious observer must... retreat into itself... for the universe to fully understand and know itself, and then everything just ends and starts again with some new weird rules. And no anglerfish. So anyway, um... I already said it during the playthrough, but... Yeah, no, this game is absolutely astounding. And it's everything... There's Kelsey. Thank you again, Kelsey. For showing up and hanging out with us tonight. Um, I know I missed some stuff. I know I crashed into the sun a lot, but I enjoyed every stream I did of this immensely. And I understand now why people care so much about this game. And I recommended it to my friend Tyler already. I'm like, listen, you need to play this. He's like a big story-based, you know, guy. He likes playing games with good story. I'm like, this is one... You don't want to miss this one. But I'm glad that I got a chance to finally experience it. It was really... Um, it, it hit all the, the things I love about space. All the weird stuff, all the interesting little twists and turns. When I was a kid and I was reading my space books, I wanted to be like an astronaut or an astronomer or something. For a couple of years, I was really into it and, you know, it didn't really last. It's just in there, like the love of planets and space, specifically cool planets. Uh, it's always going to be there and a game like this just set it on fire. You can tell the game was developed over a long time and they didn't you know, they didn't stop until they were ready. Like, there was no studio like, Hey, can you just please release this? Uh, release this? Relete. <laughs> can you re replete this? Like, hey, can we have this by... Yeah, can we get this by November 2016, please? This is uh, one of the games that I would say um, will stick with me for a long time. And I'm sure the people who have made this have heard it a lot. But... It's going to be hard for a game to really match up to this, in my mind. 14.3 billion years later. Some new planets. New life. And spacefaring. I hope they're not bugs. They look like bugs. <laughs> That was my scout. That was my scout! What? <laughs> How did it get through there? 